If you never had chicken and biscuit before, you die and go to heaven with this one. Good morning everyone, I hope you're all doing well. This is David Hoffman of David's Been Here in Jackson, Mississippi, the city with soul. I've spent four days here, this is my fifth and last day. It's been an incredible trip, I love Jackson. The South, the deep South has hospitality like none other in the United States. People are so friendly here, the food is so amazing, lots of history, and if you like beer, you're gonna love this place. They make some incredible craft beers. Today we have a short day. I'm going for breakfast. Pops are going kayaking if it doesn't rain. And then I'm going to Cathead Distillery to try some vodka. And when you come to Jackson, stay at the Westin Jackson. It's located in the center of downtown. It's just a great spot, very safe. From here I walked to a lot of places I had to go to. There's a Civil Rights Museum, the old Capitol Building, a lot of the different restaurants that are in the center of downtown. And the Westin Jackson has a service where you can rent a guitar downstairs. As you can see, they have beautiful guitars right there in the lobby. You can rent them, come upstairs and jam out. This is the city with soul, so let's go eat up the city with soul. What's up, man? What's up? How you doing? Good. Gonna be on YouTube or what? Oh uh, yeah, this is <laughs> <laughs> on the spot. We've arrived here at Broad Street Baking Company and Cafe. We're gonna have some breakfast here. This place looks super nice. My name is Mimi. I work at Broad Street Baking Company and Cafe here in Jackson, Mississippi in Banner Hall, right off the Highway 55. We are a baking company. We provide all the breads for our other um, restaurants. Our specialties are muffins, cheesecakes. We do a king cakes. We average about 3,000 king cakes a year. Um, we're quite busy in the mornings. We have a great breakfast deals. Everything is made from scratch, fresh and homemade here. Pasta dishes, pizzas. Um, for breakfast, I recommend a 282 side special. We're known for our cheese grits and our hash brown casserole. Homemade biscuits, homemade croissants. Um, we have awesome desserts. We've got something called crack pie that is a raisin oatmeal cookie crust with a sugar custard baked into it. All right, so it's my last day here in Jackson and I'm going with chicken and biscuit. We have some hash browns here and then we have some cheese grits. I mean, it's the South. You gotta always eat that chicken and biscuit. I love chicken and biscuit. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mmm. Oh wow. The difference with this chicken and biscuit is they put a glaze on top of the chicken. Mmm. Man, I love Southern food. So good. Mmm. Wow, it's great to miss. Ice cold brew. That's one thing you love when you come to Mississippi. They have grits, never any grits. And if you like grits like me, you'll be in heaven. And here we have the hash brown casserole. Oh my god, that's a lot. Mmm. Nice, like, tomato y sauce. Then what they did here is that it's not just hash browns, it's very creamy. Sticky and yummy. Probably mix them both up. I love this type of breakfast. This biscuit is so good. The glaze is like out of control with the bread. Oh my god. This um, is our cowboy cookie. It's chocolate chips, coconut, rolled oats, and walnuts. It's our most popular seller. It's very delicious. I'm not a huge coconut fan, but I do love this cookie because it's very subtle taste. And this is our crack pie. It's um, They use the oatmeal cookie cr as a crust with a vanilla custard and raisin center with a powdered sugar spread on top. It's, it's delicious. Oh my god. Okay. They call it crack pie for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got the cowboy cookie right here. Cowboy cookie looks amazing. Mm. Oh wow. Mm. Oh my god, I love this cookie. You can taste coconut throughout the whole thing. Mix with chocolate chips. Mm. Wow, one of my favorite chocolate chip cookies of all time. That is the best chocolate chip cookie in the world. It's delicious. I gotta like slow down here. Now we're on the crack pot. Bam. Oh my god. I understand why they call it crack pie. This is so delicious. I'm gonna go with the crust now. Ooh, yeah. It's a big piece. Look at this, guys. Mmm. The custard and this crust. 
They know what they're doing. Oh. Like crack. Addictive. Phenomenal. Man, like breakfast was basically dessert breakfast. <laughs> I mean, the, the desserts there are so good. The crack pie and that cowboy cookie. Next up, we're going kayaking on the Pearl River. That is the river that runs through Jackson. The Mississippi River is like an hour west of here. I haven't gone kayaking in a long time. I'm excited. Let's go over there. Hi, I'm Angie. Uh, I'm the owner of Pearl River Kayaks, a kayak rental service for the Pearl River and the Ross Barnett Reservoir. We try to make it as easy as possible for guys to come out here and try our awesome sport of kayaking. The Pearl River is a beautiful asset right here in the middle of Jackson, Mississippi and heading north up to Philadelphia at the Choctaw Indian Reservation where it begins and continues on to the Gulf of Mexico. We should treat the mother pearl with the respect she deserves and help protect her uh, and encourage people to come out for some ecotourism and that's what we're all about is saving this river and getting people outside to enjoy nature and the beauty that it holds. Our rental fee is for as long as you'd like to use the boat. We like to jokingly say to your arms fall off or dark whichever comes first. You pick your launch time and I bring everything right here to the river for you. The boats, the paddles, the life jackets, even give you a little kayaking lesson if you need one to get started. Ooh. Is there really gators here? We might see one. All right, out here on the Pearl River. So peaceful out here. It's really relaxing. So we're gonna be out here for like 30 minutes. Just chilling. This is so nice. It's really amazing how this is in the middle of a city. Feels like I'm in the middle of nowhere, you know? A, a deer trail? So what animals can you find here? Can you find bears? Are there bears in there? Oh, so there's bears. So raccoons, otters, beavers, and then you have, ja you have so jaguars? The Mississippi Panther. Does it look like this throughout the whole state? Because it looks wider than everything I've seen. Everything I've seen, it looks a lot thinner. They go 10 miles. That's not bad. It takes about four and a half, five hours of just leisurely paddling. Five hours like this? Or, yeah, or just, or longer if you want to stop on the sandbars and have a big day and go swimming. So, of the five hours, three hours are like, never been touched before. Yeah. Wow. Is there turtles in here? Oh, yeah. There's yeah. actually endangered turtles here. Endangered this turtles? This section of the pearl is being considered to be a uh, national wildlife refuge. Okay. For the ringed map turtle, which only lives on the Pearl River. Angie, awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, David. Thanks for coming. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> thanks, thanks. Awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed the kayaking. It was extremely peaceful out there. We actually saw a deer cross the river, but unfortunately, I couldn't film it and I didn't have to draw on me that second. But uh, yeah, really amazing. There's also some map turtles that we saw there basking. Just a lot of wildlife. Next up, we're going to lunch at Fine and Dandy, a gastro pub. They're famous for their snacks. So like party balls, worst ribs in town, pickled golf shrimp. They also have a lot of beers. So we're gonna try some of their beers. It's only a five minute drive from here. I'm excited. The food here is so amazing. Every restaurant I go to has something unique. They really change the way Southern food is. I mean, it's really like, this is a really foodie town. Let's go to Fine and Dandy. I'm Ray Scott Miller. I'm the owner here at Fine and Dandy. This is a kind of a new approach to a hamburger joint here. We do a little bit more upscale, but everything is uh, based on nostalgic food items. Uh, we we kind of feel like great food should always have a little bit of nostalgia in it. And, uh, and, and But we take really great ingredients, we get really creative, and we try to think of, of how to take old ideas but make them new again. You're going to be trying the uh, tater tots we didn't make. The reason why we call it tater tots we didn't make is because nobody can make tater tots better than frozen tater tots. Uh, there is something a little bit chemically delicious about them. You're also trying out today the worst ribs in town. These are pretty cool because they're, we call them worst ribs in town because they're not a typical barbecue rib. We call them party balls because it's almost like every grandmother always had these little things of it's like crock, crock pot meatballs at, at her at her little lunch and dinner parties or whatever. So this is a little bit of a play on that. We use lamb meat. One of the cool things about fine, I think for fine and dandy is is uh, we have a very creative approach to our 
our bar menu, we like to try to push the limits a little bit with what we can do in a, in a high volume environment with, uh, with cracked cocktails. One of our favorite drinks, the most popular one, is called the Twal Debacle. And the reason we call it Twal Debacle is when we were designing this place, we're thinking about design concept is kind of grandma chic. That's the way we like to think about it. And what's more grandma than Twal wallpaper? And so we did this modern version of Twal wallpaper. But when we did it, it was a disaster. It did not look good. We had a lot of problems with it. Um, we finally figured it out, but we decided to name this one drink Twal Debacle after that event. And, uh, and it's got a, uh, a local gin that's, that's made here in Jackson, Mississippi by Cat, Cathead. Uh, and then we, we use some herb, uh, simple syrups, and lime juice, and, and it's just a, it's a really great, well-crafted, well-balanced drink. That's, that's fine and dandy. These are the tater tots that didn't make, right? Yes, the tater tots we didn't make. <laughs> the worst version in town, the best version in town. Uh, no. It's amazing. Party ball, tater tots. Race oh my Robert gosh. Jones. So I'm gonna start off first with the tater tots they didn't make. These tater tots look incredible. They have like caviar and uh, some nice sauce there. Mmm, the truffle cream with the caviar. And I love how it's frozen tater tots. I mean, frozen tater tots are the best. Next up we have the party balls. These are lamb balls with lamb neck. So lamb meat, lamb neck. I guess the way to grab these are like this. Oh, it's still so hot. Mmm. Oh, it's delicious. Lamb meat has this distinctive taste. And this one, you know it's fresh. It doesn't taste like it's frozen at all. And I've never had a lamb neck, like meat from the neck. The mint jelly is off the hook. And I got a Mississippi Saison. Mmm. Oh, that's nice. And here we have the worst ribs in town. They look like the best ribs in town. <laughs> oh my god. Barbecue sauce is like a honey barbecue. What? They should rename this. This is not the worst ribs in town. These are the best ribs in town. Mm. It's a completely different type of rib because it's very sweet. Oh, there's some real good gastro food. I knew I would eat some good barbecue here in Jackson, but I had no idea it would be this delicious. Fine and dandy was delicious. Gourmet southern food here in Jackson, Mississippi is just, wow, it'll blow you away. And our last stop of the day and of the trip is Cat Head Distillery. There we're gonna learn about their vodkas. We're gonna try some vodka. Cat Head Distillery, I love the name guys, Cat Head. Let's go. So Taylor's gonna show us around and Taylor, so tell me about Cat Head. Cat Head Distillery was the first legal distillery to open in Mississippi since Prohibition. They started in 2010. We will celebrate our eighth birthday this summer for the Cat Head Jam. It's a two day music festival. There are six products currently on the market, three vodkas, two gins, and a hoodoo chicory liqueur. And there's just exciting things happening here, so we're excited. It used to be a school book warehouse. Um, it was the Mississippi school book warehouse for all of the state. Then it became an electrical warehouse of some sorts. Um, and then I know there was a flood in Jackson in the 70s and the flood essentially just destroyed it. And then it was vacant for a long time and now it's Cathead Distillery. Basically the way we do everything is we start with the mash tun. So we take that corn-based mash and put it in the mash tun and then we add enzymes to the starch which then turns it into sugar. Then the fermentation process, that's where we essentially ferment and turn the sugar into alcohol. So we add that yeast to the sugar, then it turns into alcohol. The result of the fermentation process is it's not that clear, colorless, odorless liquid that you want your vodka. So that's the whole point of the distillation process is to get it to that colorless, tasteless, and odorless form. So that's the whole point of the still. So the process is it goes from the mash to fermentation, from fermentation to the still there that basically cleans the alcohol. Cathead is a blues term okay. and it was coined out of the Mississippi Delta, um, Leland, Mississippi specifically. Um, a man named Sir Pat Thomas a long, long time ago was a grave digger by day and he was a blues artist by night. And what he would do is he would take the clay from these graves and sometimes take teeth from human corpses and make these clay cat heads and then give them to fellow blues artists as a sign of respect and it kind of caught on. And then if you've ever heard the phrase, oh, he's a cool cat, that's where it comes from. People wonder why a blues term. 
Um, the owners, Austin Evans and Richard Patrick, met at the University of Alabama over their shared love of the blues. That's kind of how they became close. So they knew they wanted to go into business together, but they didn't know what they wanted to do. Um, one late night, one early morning at a blues festival in Clarksville, Mississippi, they decided to come up with the first legal distillery in Mississippi since Prohibition. Um, and a portion of Cathead's proceeds go to five different nonprofits that donate to the blues and different arts councils. This is the barrel room. There are kind of mixed feelings on how you should keep your barrel room. The way the guys feel that we should have ours is no temperature control at all. Theory behind that is with how cold it gets in the wintertime here in Mississippi, the barrels shrink up and when it's hot, the barrels expand and obviously the more movement of a barrel is a good thing for bourbon. So that's kind of why it feels a little chillier in here than in the rest of the building. These barrels right here are bourbon barrels. It's something we actually haven't released yet, so it's very exciting. Hoodoo is our superstitious liqueur. Um, hoodoo is derived from voodoo out of New Orleans, and it's kind of inspired from chicory coffee um, out of Cafe Du Monde. And basically what we do is we lay it down on Friday the 13th at midnight, and it has to hit a proof of 666. So it's a really good, it's almost like a Kahlua replacement. It's really good in coffee, really good drizzled over desserts. It's a really, really cool liqueur. We have a Friday the 13th next Friday, and we have another one in July. So there's a couple. It, it changes because sometimes it stays here longer, right? Exactly. Okay. But usually I think it's about a six month lay down. Next up, we're gonna try some vodka, gin, and maybe some bourbon. Original vodka, this is where Cat Hat got started. It is the highest selling product. It is a very clean vodka, it's gluten free, and it's just a multi-purpose liquor, so it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's nice. It's vodka. <laughs> yeah. It is vodka. Tastes like honey? It tastes like honey sandwich. Mmm, I like that. It's actually more like a, a like grappa. Um, if you are allergic to nuts, don't try this product. <laughs> um, but mmm, that's delicious. Mmm. This is the Hoodoo Chicory Liqueur. It has a proof of about 66.6, .6, and it's a really good dessert liqueur. Yeah. Dessert wines are my favorites, like port wines, anything sweet, like right after, like digestive. Mmm. Yeah, it tastes like port. Yeah. Very similar. Mmm, that's delicious. This gin is been, has been ranked in the top 10 gins in America in a lot of different southern magazines. It's a floral gin, but it's not overpowering. It's a really clean gin. Oh, I really like that. Really yeah. good. Yeah. Unfortunately, Mississippi only allows me to drink four. <laughs> <laughs> Getting some cat head swag right here. Uh -huh. Sugar hats. That's deep south stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So that's it, our trip here in Jackson, Mississippi is over. The city was sold. I've had an incredible five days. And I have to give a big thanks to Visit Jackson, Jonathan, Yolanda, thank you guys so much for making my stay so enjoyable. To the Westin Jackson, thank you guys for accommodating me. It was beautiful, I really slept well every single night and location is amazing. And to all the restaurants, all the places I visited, thank you all for your Southern hospitality. It's really, Amazing to see what Mississippi is all about and it starts right here in the heart So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up Leave me a comment below and subscribe to my channel. I hope you enjoy the city with soul Let's go to the airport and head home. See you on the next adventure